When searching for values, sometimes explicit variables like A's and B's actually don't require plug-in to solve it most efficiently, the question. You might actually wind up using backsolve. How would we know? Let's take a look at this one. If A plus B equals 9 and A squared plus AB equals 36, then what is B equal? Well, when we take a look at B equaling some specific number, it can't be anything we make up. It has to be an A, a B, a C, a D, or an E. So we start in the middle and we test out C. Well, if B equals 5, what does that mean A has to equal? We go back, A plus 5 equals 9. Since we knew what B was because we tested it out as C, it very easily tells us that A is going to have to equal 4. But we're not done yet. Just because the first part of the problem worked when we put B equals 5 and it told us A equals 4, we now have to see if the second part of the problem fits with the values we've got. Well, if A equals 4, we've got 4 squared plus 4 times B, and B is 5. So what we have here is 4 squared plus 4 times 5. Well, 4 squared is 16, 4 times 5 is 20. That means we put them together and we get a 36, and we're done. When we take a look at a question like this, there's no faster way to solve it than actually have C be the right answer. Well, it's not always going to be C, but in this case it was. This is a lot easier than trying to solve the algebra in the traditional way most students are used to. What you'd have to do is set one of the variables equal to one of the other variables by subtracting B from one side, so A equals 9 minus B, and if A equals 9 minus B, and we go back to the beginning of the question, what would we have? We would have 9 minus B squared plus 9 minus B times B equals 36. Man, that sounds pretty awful. Why does Backsolve seem so easy? because we have a real number. When we go through and we've got B equals 5, this problem becomes a simple, concrete exercise of arithmetic. This is why Backsolve can be so powerful. Questions that are often difficult involving a lot of algebra, if they need a single value in the end, Backsolve might be your solution. You put it in, you solve to make sure it works, and you're done.